It's like a 25% hit rate. Okay. With opening up Photoshop, so we'll see. Are we about to brighten something? Oh, are we ever going to brighten something? <laughs> oh my god, I've been waiting to brighten something <laughs> with you for so long. <laughs> Welcome to GT Not Live, where today... Uh, hey, you are a new face on I this am. couch. Hi. I've had the face myself for a long time, but it's new on the couch. Yeah. Uh, you are new on the couch, though. <laughs> I uh, congratulations on having the face for an extended period of time. Thank you, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> well, how, how did you get in my house and who are you? Uh, someone very nice let me in the front door and I uh, just snuck in. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm this... Wait, did they let you in or did you sneak? I'm very confused. <laughs> The, the letting in seems to preclude the sneaking in, but now that you're saying that you snuck in, I'm... I'm uh... There was a lot of distraction involved, yeah. Wow! Yeah. There's a lot of nuance in this entrance <laughs> it's strategy. Mon months in the plan. Months in the making this this inter this subterfuge and to get in. It, wow. Yeah. Subterfuge yeah. at all. <laughs> and now here we are on a couch. Hello. And we're just filming all of this. Yeah, and I've not been escorted out at all. It's kind of weird. I thought you'd have sort of kicked me out by now, but uh, I, here I'm we not, are. I'm not one to turn down a good content opportunity, stranger in my house who... <laughs> Snuck in via subterfuge and <laughs> sat down next to me. I was just here. This this GT Live was happening regardless. And I'm like, oh, someone's here on the couch now. Hello. Well, if I introduce myself, I won't be a stranger on the couch anymore. How that's that? that's there true. We go. Hi. That does kind of lose a little bit of the allure. <laughs> oh, if you want, we though. can keep the mystique going. No, I think you should take the opportunity to plug yourself in your channel. Though, sure. So. Hi. Wait a minute. You're that. You're that person from. All those game theory episodes. Haven't I seen your silhouette at some point? Yeah, you may recognize me as one of the silhouettes in a <laughs> lot of game theory episodes at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name's Greg. I go by the Stupendium online. Uh, I make nerdy songs about nerdy things. That is accurate. Yeah, that's pretty. That that's the that's the Spark Notes version. Yeah. Greg's <laughs> stuff is fantastic. If you've never heard it or seen it before, unreal. You uh, you've been showing me clips of this the ship that you made for this upcoming video that you've mm -hmm. done, which is unreal. Uh, but before that, like, I think uh, some of your favorites, uh, some of my favorites are like, we were talking about this before and I, I didn't tell you that the Delta Rune one is actually one oh, of my awesome. favorites because of how verbose it is. Like, your lyrics are so smartly done and I don't know how you perform them. Like, <laughs> the, like just the, the word, I, I, I don't want to say vomit because it's not word vomit, but like the <laughs> amount that you're able to articulate in such a short amount of time, it's, it's, it's great. Well, thank you very much. It's so smartly done. So th this, this person is unreal. Go check out Stupendium. Has anyone, uh, out of curiosity though, you mm -hmm. got to ask, did anyone on the team ever ask about the whole silhouette thing or did they just like choose you? I, I, I don't know how that started. I was consulted, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Ty I'm glad. Tyler reached out to me and said, hey, I've, I've been asked to make a set of new assets yes. for the channel. Like I need to make like 10 silhouettes or whatever. Can can I make you one? And, and I said, yes. So now Great. whenever you see the sort of glasses and moustache having silhouette in any video, it's it's, it's based on me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I'm, gl I'm glad we got clear. <laughs> On that. Every time you release a theory using that, I get inundated with tweets and messages saying, you were in game theory. Nice. Yeah, and I know, I know. It's been a couple of years now. It'll take you this long to notice. I'm in there a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you, you are. You're a very frequent appearance, actually. I, I'm honored. Uh, now I just challenge everyone watching at home to figure out who the other ones are. Ah, are they all based on real people? They'll have to find out. Oh, okay. Maybe, oh, who are. knows? Who knows? That is the mystery <laughs> afoot. That would be funny if you were the only one. Right? Yeah. Right? Like, you were so special. Like, generic person, generic person, generic person, and stupendium. Yeah. Well, I'd be honored if that were the case, but I feel like they're probably all based on real people. Or at least all based on stock images. <laughs> also, so, and this and this relates more to what we're doing today, which is, also, aren't you a canon character in Poppy Playtime? Technically, I'm a canon character in Poppy Playtime, yeah. In the, in the wider Poppy universe, I am a canon character. In, yes. in, in fact, in the, 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 the PEU, the PEU, <laughs> Poppy Extended Universe. Yeah, in the PU. Yeah, yeah the, the PU. Or, yeah. or the P P PU. The PARG. You're in the Poppy oh, ARG. Yes. Yeah, yes, so you're part the of the PARG. The, the yeah. PU. The PU PARG. Uh, the, the Extended Universe uh, ARG. Um, in fact, I believe you're wearing the exact same shirt as your character was in the I am. show. I did. I had it with me on this trip here and I thought, you know what, actually that works quite well. I'll wear that today. Yeah. So. And, it, and you look delightful. So, Thank you. Um, so, for those who don't know, uh, uh, Greg not only is a talented musician, but also a talented performer. You're part of the Poppy universe. Uh, we reacted to their video 
uh, what was it, a couple months ago, yeah, right? Where you were giving back. like a tutorial, like a video tutorial to like yeah. the world, the employees of Puppy. Yeah, like an employee induction video for new employees. Yeah, yeah. to everyone who, who works at Playtime Co. Saying like, hey, eventually you're going to die. Like, if you read yeah. between the lines, yeah. you will lose. This is basically an Amazon factory. Essentially, it, it wasn't subtle. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Didn't have to read between the lines too much on this one. Uh, but since you were in town and we had you here and we got to film some things, I wanted to take some time on the couch to react with you okay. to the new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 teaser trailer number two. Exciting. Obviously. Exciting. <laughs> you know, the, just rolls off the tongue there. It does, yeah. Very smooth. Yeah, well, I was in London. They released this thing and I'm like, oh my gosh. I need to react to this, which just so happened to co coincide with you being here. And you as a canon character, you can just give me all the lore. Oh, yeah. I, I know ev I know nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they didn't They didn't give you like a, a they feedback did, sheet. They didn't like... give me like the lore book, the lore compendium. No. No, that video, they the said... The stupendium compendium? <laughs> believe it or not, the name stupendium comes from the word compendium originally. I do believe it. Yeah. It's... I, I, believe it or not, I do. I, you know, I, I do believe that. <laughs> it was originally a webcomic where the name came from, and it was a portmanteau of a compendium of the stupendously stupid. All oh, a stupid. Shrunk together into the stupendium. Nice. Yeah, so did you take the stew from stu uh, tremendously stupid? Yeah. Or stupendous? I guess both. I guess I guess it technically came so from the both. So the ST came from stupid. Yeah. The U, U came from, from stupendous. Yeah, yeah. And then the endium came yeah. from compendium. Yes. Okay. I believe that's it. I believe that's the, uh, the, that's, the, uh, the that's, equation. That yeah. is the official lore of your channel yeah. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. I'm going to quickly write that down now so I can... Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> keep track of that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to run the risk of being called Scott Cawthon and rearranging everything right? like half, oh, halfway I know. down. Right. I'm also actually, I died several years ago and now I'm an amalgamation of circuit boards and goop uh, made to mimic me by AI. Mimic? Yeah. Goop? <laughs> remnants? Yeah. Goop, remnant, yeah. AI. Yeah, I've been scooped multiple times. Multiple times? Yeah, yeah, the whole lot. I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. How, how, what, it's okay. I also dispense ice cream, so. <laughs> oh, well, that, that makes everything better. Where, where do I put in my cone? You don't know. I was going to say, I feel like that is not a question I should be asking. Like, okay. And with that, we move off of uh, yeah. the witty banter portion of today. Uh -huh. if, if wit is actually something to be had there. Moving swiftly on. Yes, moving on. So you, you do not know all the lore of Poppy Playtime. No, no, I don't. For that project, that video I did, they sent me a loose script and they asked me to sort of rewrite it a bit. So, uh, yeah, I don't have the full goings on of everything. Uh, I just know what they told me, which, okay. which wasn't much. All right. So can you help me solve the lore at least? I can try my best, but I feel like you're the expert here. Oh, I'll pay you later. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Let's do it. Okay. Skippity Toilet Chapter 1. <laughs> oh, we already got a flash frame in the beginning. Is that a flash frame? You, your, your eyes are so attuned. <laughs> I, 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 something like that. Right? There was a flash frame. I'm not making that up. Right there. Oh, yeah. See it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Gas mask. Gas okay. mask. That is uh, related to the first teaser trailer that we got for Chapter 3, where... I that one. Yeah, there was... It's the big red gas mask, so mm -hmm. that's what it is. What is this next to it? I don't know. Right? That's what do you think weird. that looks like? It's like... It, almost like, an, like a zigzag pattern over the screen that's joining stuff together, and then there's... With the V? I think it could just be another gas mask hanging out, because it's right. got that same shape of the island. But they've kind the of like cut the image off. Yeah. Yep, I agree. All right, so gas mask. So we're solidly in Chapter 3 territory. Mm -hmm. Fire. Yes. Well, Fire. well, well, well identified. I'm contributing. <laughs> this is called live reaction. This is this is adding to the content. Call us Sniper Wolf. We're just shouting out the stuff that's happening on screen right now. You got now. a bonus 20 seconds of content out of that one word. Thank, thank you. So this is, and you know what? 20 seconds at a time. That's how you get to an hour and a half reaction. There you go. This, there you this go. is amazing. This is an hour. This is almost two minutes of content. That's like th a three-parter for us. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that is the train from the end of chapter two. Yes, it does look like that, yeah. Okay, play care. We knew that we ended chapter two going into play care, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. This this all tracks. Ah, dark creeping shot of a hallway. This level. tracks slightly differently, so. Mm. <laughs> right? Dark hallway with things hidden in the sides. Yeah, scratch marks leading away into the distance. Yeah. Right? As though someone has been dragged. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it looks like children's drawings on the wall. Oh, oh you called the children's drawings. Yeah, there they are. Children's drawings. <laughs> Dead Poppy? Mm-hmm. Or, sorry, dead, dead Huggy. Can I just say, they really missed the mark when it came to branding this series. Right. Like, Poppy Playtime, you know, 
it's about the doll with the red hair, yeah. the, the living poppy doll. But a Huggy Wuggy is so clearly the mascot, the yeah. mascot of this franchise. Yeah, it's like you know the the main character and the thing that this whole thing is brand around is not the big blue creature, right? But everyone knows it as the oh that the the big blue puppet game. Like honestly, he is he is bloody. It looks like he's been eaten, which again goes to the questionable lore of. One, these things being actual living creatures, but yeah. two, them subsisting off of each other or, yeah. like, eating each other in some way. Like, it's definitely got blood and guts by the look of it. Right. Which we sort of knew about the full-size Huggy, but this is a doll-sized Huggy. Right. Which also apparently is full of blood. Oh, yeah. Blood blood gore all over the place. Yeah. Just really. Can't get enough. Ooh, creepy. Okay. That's creepy. That is very creepy. That is, right? That's disturbing. Time for bed. So, is that supposed to be Huggy? No. I mean, it's a big blue figure. Figure. It could conceivably be a children's drawing of Huggy. It could be. It's not even like remotely like Huggy shaped, though. No, well, those aren't really remotely human shaped. They're just circles on a stick. So. <laughs> Fair. Fair. But also, I feel like those are, you know, the predetermined, like, official okay, way fair, fair. of of those figures being there. Sure, okay. As opposed to this, which is, like, blob creature. Yeah. I don't know if I, like, was drawn Huggy. I it's feel. almost like it's got, like, red squiggles around. You know what I see? I see a Huggy that's had its head torn off, and there's loads of blood spewing out, because there's loads of red squiggles around the top, but there's not really a head shape on top. There isn't really a head shape on top. You're yeah. totally right. It looks more like it has, like, antenna or something. Yeah. Because Huggy has that iconic, like, hair. Speaking Hold up. I, I did want to call this one out. Sorry. Oh, I, I do. Have, I, no, I saw no, this earlier. No. Speaking of... I, I saw this. and Not to call out Ash. Wait, is this stuck to the wall? Yes. It's stuck to the wall? Specifically to stop you calling people I, out. I know, door. right? I, I was going to like pull this down. Ash, is this, supposed to, is this supposed to be Huggy? Do you like it? I mean, I like it, but I... You know, it's if, if this is meant to be Huggy... This looks like a Muppet character. I here, think here, it's here. very good. <laughs> As, I did it all from memory. <laughs> Clear, so clearly. I, I would hope that you didn't draw it from like looking at a <laughs> reference picture. Because there are some very key details missing. Well, Looks like know. a rejected character from Sesame Street. <laughs> I could see it being like a puffle that went wrong. A puffle? Yeah, from, like it? from Club Penguin. Okay. That's that's a younger thing. Than I know that. what that is. I've I've heard of it. Yeah, Club Penguin. I loved all the penguins, penguins in that club. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite uh, things. Did you look at your membership card for the, for the club? Yeah, yeah I, I, I do. Yeah, except for when the bouncer penguin would turn uh, me away at, yeah. the, at the front of the club. Penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. It, was, it was great. Good times. Great oldies. So anyway, yeah, the, the shape of your huggy face is, is I, not accurate. That's Wuggy Huggy. Huggy <laughs> Wuggy, huggy, huggy, of course. Huggy. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The yeah. anti Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, from your AU. Yeah, yeah it's the AU. Oh, it's yeah. AU. Ash is very trained on their on their alternate universe. OCs do not steal. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. good. good. Yeah. The so AU is the Ash universe. The, this is the yeah, yeah yeah the Ash universe. The AU. Perfect. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Three claw marks. <laughs> yeah. Just calling it out there. Uh -huh. Same as the drag marks. Yeah. So we have a clawed creature. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, prototype one zero zero six. Oh. Prototype. That's the arm, right? That is the arm, the arm, yeah. Is it three fingers or four fingers? It's four it's fingers. Four, four and a thumb. See, you know that from the lore. Yeah, I don't know bits. I know bits. I've watched your theories. That's, that's, <laughs> so that's, th that's okay. So not quite one of the same, huh? That one's Skibbity Toilet. Mm. Interesting that the claw marks have gone behind the things put on the wall. So something's, right. something's wrecked this hallway, and then someone's gone and put these things on the wall. Exactly, which is, I think, a really good call out. Because you would think, like, oh, yeah, this, you know, it's all one and the same. But no, yeah. someone has revisited this hallway after the claw marks have been here. Right. Great call out. See, that's, that's called contributing. Yeah. That is a solid, like, plus 40 yes. seconds worth of content right awesome. there. I'm adding that one to the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> Already getting you another milkshake. How much do you need? All right. So we got creepy dead child, clearly. Okay. Do we know what character that is on the frame? Oh, like, oh, here? Yeah. I don't recognize the character. Is it... No, it's a fair point. Could Wait. be a new character coming to this chapter, hence why the face is obscured as a teaser. Here, can I open up Photoshop or is this going to fail in my face like it always does? I think you might have some success this time. 
this oh. time. It's yeah. it's it's like a twenty five percent hit rate. Okay. With opening up Photoshop, so we'll see. Are we about to brighten something? Oh. Are we ever going to brighten something? Oh my god, I've been waiting to brighten something with you for so long. <laughs> this, it's that moment. It's that moment. Get hyped. I've made it. I'm brightening something with MatPat. <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is a bucket list. I like back in the early days of YouTube, it was like, oh, I got on YouTubers React and that was a rite of passage for YouTubers back when that was a thing. And now it's, oh, I brightened an image with MatPat on yeah. GT Not Live. So what are, we, what are we learning here as we brighten this image? Let's do, we'll even adjust exposure for oh, you since you're so excited about it. Look at that adjustment happening. Dang. Didn't really help us no, uh, no, identify all. who this character is. Well, I still got the experience of the brightening, and that's the main thing. Yeah, it, it, that's all that matters. <laughs> is who is that? Yeah, because like there's two. There's one up here too. Yeah, are they, are they the same one, or they they might be different? Right. I was trying to figure that out. It looks like they are two versions of the same character, yeah, right? Because you swap. right because you see three fingers, three fingers mm -hmm. ish, and a, and a thumb, and you see kind of like the same idea two-toned feet like yeah. the feet are a different color than the legs but they are different colors like this is a yeah. more yellow based one it's got a yellow stomach whereas this is patch. red and pink yeah they almost look like little care bears like little teddies or something right or i was yeah. gonna say like uh, almost like uh, small versions of teletubbies or something like right. that right yeah i see like a smiling emoji or duck face here oh or yeah something. maybe but, but that's got... separate from the character yeah they've got poor like feet and poor like hands so i'd put my money on some sort of some sort of teddy bear or cat or something like that. I was that. gonna say it looks more cat like. Okay. To me, if you think about like uh, how cats paws, as opposed to like a dog paw, which usually has more of like the you can see the toe, like the, the claws a little bit I more. I feel like when you get to this level of cartoony though, all animal feet sort of look the same. You know, that's true, but in the effort of me trying to come to conclusive <laughs> decisions and, and feel like we're actually contributing meaningfully into okay. the theorizing. Forgive me. I'm gonna stick with cats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are cats confirmed, 100%. 100% confirmed. Uh, wait, there's um, a Poppy Playtime. Great, I can, I can definitely Poppy write. Playtime, the, the wood-themed spinoff. <laughs> Who needs vowels? Uh, see, but here, and here you have, like, Cat B, who has no feet right, whatsoever. Yeah. Like, there's no, no distinction there. Candy Cat. Uh, so in, in the okay. world, uh, it is interesting. In the world of Poppy Playtime, it does seem like the cat, a little bit of toe distinction yeah that's a little true. bit cat being yeah. distinction there cool so what have we learned not a whole lot new not characters new characters involved you heard it here first new characters in this new chapter <laughs> <laughs> see this <laughs> content it's great we're contributing meaningfully to the conversation time for bed anything else interesting here not particularly do you the wallpaper pattern looks a bit like huggy looks like a smoochy face to me like the, the, sort of the shape of the flourish of the blue yeah. huggy head, the I, red, I think it red looks, bit in the middle. To me, it looks like an octorock. Okay. Like, like, like I don't Zelda know stuff. what that is. You, you, wait, hold, hold, what? Oh, no, am I about You don't know what an there? octorock is? No, I heard you say the word Zelda there, and I've never played a Zelda game. So. <laughs> be still, my, be, really? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I had one of the originals on the original Game Boy, and I've yeah. not played one since. Really? So, yeah. So you have played one. You played the original on the original. But, but I was so young, I didn't get it. I never got past the first bit. That's so I, I owned it. It was like a yeah. hand-me-down. Yeah. I never got anywhere with it. Oh I was too gosh. young to understand. Well. I played Tetris and Pokemon on that Game Boy, okay, and that was yeah. about it. Oh, man. Well, I think that's a good, you know, sometime in your free time. Worth, worthwhile goal. <laughs> free time. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> right, 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 I'm so right, tired. Right, yeah, right. Life is pain. <laughs> Just constant work and effort. Oh, <laughs> it's all for the content. Oh, my God. Please save me from something here. My, let's brighten up a new image, shall we? Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna we're gonna brighten up there's a lot of dark corners in this image. There are. Interestingly, this is yeah. new. That's that does not follow the pattern. Let's do another exposure. Is that a letter, a letter M on it? I might mean that. An M. As in like where are you seeing the M? The black shape in the middle sort of has a Oh yeah. I can see that. Yeah. See, and I'm seeing as a little bit of a reverse, like it's an open jaw. Oh, yeah. Like that's like this is a red creature. Right. That has like a couple of like kind of smallish but pointy teeth. Right. Ready to chomp down. I was like just seeing that as boo. another piece of paper on the wall. Like Boxy Boo. Yeah. My brain was just passing it as another sheet of paper hanging on the wall in the background. No, I yeah. can see that. Yeah, like a bloodstained piece of paper yeah. and, and the black M is outlined there. Yeah. That could, that could absolutely be. I think the reason why my brain stops it, though, is because you see this is where the wall's lit. Yeah. Versus not. So we're definitely turning a corner, which right. seems that either the paper starts or ends right there. Right. But it could 
be like a banner going into there if that was like an A or something. Yeah. Huh. And then you have something shiny at the bottom. Yeah. Great, let's burn it out as <laughs> as hot as humanly possible. Are there any hints in the wide shot? Because this is a close-up of that hallway we saw earlier, I yep. assume. Right. Is there anything that we missed in that that might Right now that we're now that we're getting into it. Now that we're actually doing yeah, like I assume it's content reaction here. Those same bits of paper, possibly. Maybe maybe it's a different location, but... A maybe. sister location? No. I mean, that looks like the dark that, picture that of like the, the kid. That's the frame, yeah. So It does look... You would so, assume that you would be able to see the scratch marks, though. Yeah, I think... I see that. If you look on the right, there's like two doorways. I think those two bits of light are just two bright bits of light coming through. And yeah. the black bit in the middle is just the shadow of the wall between the doors. Yeah. Look at you. Regular theorist after my own heart. And you say you don't have anything about the lore here. <laughs> I was See, wondering not... if there was anything hidden back here. Right. I'm not seeing what's down the bottom that could be making those spring-like shapes. Are these desks? They look like, yeah, it... little wooden school desks. Right, because again, if, if we're in play care, right, we're not right. in a house. This, this immediately gives you house vibes because yeah. you have a chandelier and, like, the crown molding and, you know, like, the baseboards and stuff, which mm -hmm. gives it a very house feel. But... We're still within this toy factory, right? Yeah. We're still in play care. Um, so it seems, and it looks almost like it's like a nursery school or something, because right. it, it's not a traditional dinner table setup. Yeah. The, the desks or tables are against the wall, and they're being lined up very close to each yeah. other in a way that feels very school-like. They also, and maybe this is me reaching it, they feel quite small as if they're built for children. Like they don't feel like full, quite full-size white tables. Sure. No, I would agree with that. Burn it out even more. Yeah, so maybe play care. Yeah. Instead, it is like, j like the play on the name daycare, yeah. right? Like, so they're taking care of... Again, we know that Playtime Co. brings in these orphan children... Maybe it's taking care of them down here. It's yeah. functioning as a daycare. It's functioning as an edu like a like a school. Yeah, it's giving me schoolhouse vibes. Right. Yeah, like old yeah. creepy schoolhouse vibes. Yeah. So they have this old creepy schoolhouse down in the basement that eventually they turn the kids into monsters mm -hmm. in some way and and make them into the living creatures that populate everywhere. Maybe whoever scratched was trying to like save them mm. at some point. I think Boxy Boo's a good call out here. I think that's cool. Uh -huh. Spooky fan. That's from uh, the uh, Project Playtime. Right. The, the phone is kind of a recurring element there. Nice. Nothing in the darkness, really. Uh, the original saved I... me. I rejoice in him. And then we lose it. There's more, but it's sort of lost in the shadow. Right there, the here. Let's see right. if I can print screen without the edge marks here. Poop. Okay, so I got print screen there. Let's see what this is. A lot, lot of brightening images this time. Oh. If you wait, if you wanted to brighten some images, Are you insured to brighten this many images. This is this is a new record, I think. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, something's coming out of the shadow there. Okay, so first off, mine Ming. Yeah, it looks like M, M I N G. Yeah, Ming. Or, or N I N something Ing. Ing, yeah. The original saved me. I rejoice in him. We. It's like so covered up. Yeah. And again, it's interesting, like you called out, it's all happening underneath the pictures yeah. of the, the dead dead children! Whoa! Missing Ca kids incident! Put that on your bingo cards. <laughs> it always <laughs> is. It is a perpetual life thing of mine at this point. And then there's something definitely in the background here. What we got going on here? Spook face? Okay. Nothing really, okay. Yeah. One little point of light there that could be anything. Right. Yeah. Fine. Can't speculate. I think, backtracking a little, that the three points of light that we caught yes. on the wall, uh -huh. I think they were light catching the claw marks because they were in the same direction as the claw marks, mm -hmm. and there were three. So I think it was just a point that the light was catching. That's on the claw interesting. Marks. I like that. That's a good. That's a that's a good observation. Well done. Also, you're seeing more of those repeat. So whatever this character is, uh, yeah. exactly like you called out. There are a lot of different colors of that character right here. And we have a green one. you can see rabbit ears on the green one. Yeah, a little bit of flopped over there. Yeah, and the, the one at the bottom there. Oh, that's, right there. That, that's a rabbit ear. Yep. I'm almost certain. No, you're totally right. It's like, um, but is, is it different to Bunzo? Oh, it could be Bunzo. Bunzo! Mm. 
No. It's the, close. They're not the the ones we saw in the earlier frames definitely weren't wearing like <clears throat> overalls. No, definitely not overalls. And also, again, you don't have the toe differentiation. Yeah. yeah it's, you don't have toe differentiation. Also, with Bunzo, you're not getting the different colored ears at the tips. I'm right? also the, noticing though now. Uh huh. The, they all have different tails. They're all different species. The one on the far left there has mm -hmm. like a little lion tail. That one has like a, a puffy sort of yeah, he's got tail a puff, or fox right. tail or something. There's rabbit. So this is like a whole set of different animal characters. Yeah, it does. This also says playtime. Oh, yes. Like these pictures were taken. It seems like a watermark. Yeah. Or even a badge the child is wearing. Yeah. In the photo. Right. Badge. It's unclear whether that's on the frame or mm -hmm. on the picture. So it could also just be indicating like the, the frame itself is playtime. Yeah. Interesting. But I don't see it on the other frame. So I don't think, no, I so think it's it wouldn't part be of the, the frame, it's the photo. Yeah. Yep. So we have a lot of dead kids. The original saved. So the original, which means that there are going to be multiple copies. Uh -huh. We're dealing with different variations or maybe clones. Like we know that there is the Bigger Bodies initiative at this point where there are big versions of like Huggy Wuggy and mommy long legs but then there are smaller versions like we saw here of like mini huggies yeah sprinkled all over so is the original then like oh the original giant huggy wuggy the original giant prototype whatever mm. it is i don't know okay i live to serve our angel of salvation mm -hmm. prototype yeah possibly one zero zero six my new friend he gives me nightmares just like mommy and daddy before they left me. Okay. Wow, that is that is very explicit there, small child. Mm. Uh, he gives me nightmares, this creature. Yeah, it's the same blue pen as the thing we couldn't work out what it was in right? this image. Which, so is this some sort of like shapeshifter maybe? Possibly, yeah. Or this kid is just really bad at coloring. Or that, yeah. Like, let me tell you, I've seen a lot of kid artwork mm -hmm. in my day, you know. As as a parent, you see a lot of kids' artwork, and there's a vast variety of skills that come out yeah, of that. Absolutely. Like, hey, draw me a bicycle. It's like, <laughs> yeah! You're like, oh, yeah, that's, that is a yeah, form well that exists. Well done, yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh, what, what, a, what a great job. That's amazing. Uh, that picture there, there's the green figure. There's like a green line connecting the, the person to the, the shape. Yes. Is that like, is it being led? Is it hitting it with a stick? Uh, there's, maybe, there's some intentional thing going on there. Maybe that's that's its arm. <laughs> like, or maybe just have a very these, This arm, is how yeah. I indicate my arms, and then this is my other arm. Yeah, right there. quite possibly. Um, I think this is interesting. So there's, again, a representation of whatever this blue figure is. Yeah. This blue shapeshifter, this blue tall man, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then this looks to be one of those creatures, yeah. right? Like this, it looks like it has the same kind of floppy bunny ears mm -hmm. that we were talking about earlier in the, yeah. in the frames. If it weren't for the bunny ears, it almost looks like a, a plush marionette from FNAF. That's right. That's, I know, <laughs> yeah. right? I, yeah. I, I saw that too. And I'm like, oh, no. We're dealing with another puppet situation. Oh, no. oh man, the crossover that no one knew that they needed. <laughs> I know you definitely don't need it for your sanity. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe it would make my life easier oh, because maybe. then all the lures just combine into one. Condense, instead yeah. of me trying to be like, oh, who's in Poppy? The, the spirits are infused, but they mm -hmm. live and they're infused in the flesh. But, you know, in, in, in Ruin, they're all AI. And so nothing's really real. And they're all robot kids anyway. Yeah, the mimic was mommy long legs all along. Oh, my God. <laughs> You said that, and my heart just <laughs> skipped a beat. So I scary. felt like a cold chill down my spine when you said that. I have such power. You do. It's well. And then this one, just like mommy and daddy before they left me. Like what? Me being sad? Yeah. Is that the feeling? Just like. <laughs> this feels just like the time. Right? Is that what we're led to yeah, believe well, there? Yeah, before they left. So were they sad before you? You sad before mommy and daddy left you? Before they left me. Yeah. Something happened just right. like mommy and daddy did before mommy and daddy left. I, right. I was feeling lonesome. I was feeling yeah. abandoned. But then stopped when they left. That's I, interesting. Right? That is weird. When they left you here at the play care, yeah. were you suddenly happy when you got to the play care because right. you had friends, but you were sad before? Right. I'm feeling... Right? That is, it's a weird way to phrase it. Yeah. For sure. Just like mommy and daddy before they left me. Yeah, and then there's more blue scribbles. Next maybe to mommy it. and daddy yeah. turned dark and evil before, like turned, maybe. maybe they amalgamated into a weird blue sketch. Yes. And then like, ah, mommy and daddy fusion dance. <laughs> okay. So while we had that technical difficulty and, and fixed my microphone here, 
I have learned so much from you, Greg. Okay, so <laughs> what am I looking at exactly? You're looking at the iconic BBC test card. Uh, in the UK, and off, dates back to about the 70s, uh, this image became what was used whenever the BBC had like a severe technical difficulty and a channel outage. And it's like, it's a colour test card, but in the middle, they wanted an image to, uh, to like test that they could send proper photographic imagery properly. And one of the women on the team at BBC said, oh, I just had, did a photo shoot with my daughter. Uh, do you want to use one of those? And, and that, to this day, to, this I girl think still to that. this day, I might be wrong. That on the rare occasions yeah. the BBC has an outage, this image displays. Wow. Yeah. Do they ever do like a "Where is she now"? Like, uh, she, I, she, she's still around. She's done interviews on TV about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? This is terrifying. Can I just say? <laughs> oh, right, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what photo. Sh like this girl feels like a girl that should be in play care right now. Right. Yeah. Like this is a girl who was shoved into a, a living toy and is now <laughs> worshiping the angel that saved them or she, whatever. She is that clown doll now. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. like, look at this. She's playing tic tac toe, as you said, knots and crosses. Knots and crosses. Knots and crosses. Knots and crosses. Blimey, go blimey. Uh, yeah, blimey. She's playing knots and crosses, <laughs> governor, against a weird, creepy clown. This is. This is the stuff right? of like, how has there not been a indie horror series about just this one Just image? you wait, just you wait. I, I hope so. It'll happen. I hope that us talking about this today Make has raised enough awareness that some budding game designer out there is like, you know what? That BBC test screen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when she does interviews, not that she does them often, but I've seen her do them, she has the doll still. As well. I'm sure she, she does. Doll. Yeah. I, I feel like the doll forces itself to right, be yeah. followed, like to, to come with her. Yeah, everywhere. the doll is very angry if it's left behind. <laughs> no, yeah. like it, it's like this is my spotlight too, yeah. girl. This is awful. This this traumatizes me. You traumatized me with Skibbity Toilet like half an hour. Ago. <laughs> That's fair. So this is my me returning the favor. Is that the only? Do they have any other? Do they cycle through any other? No, images? it's just that one. That's so <laughs> random and weird. Right? Like it's only used very very rarely. But uh, it's, it is a thing. Here, American, uh, it's uh, technical difficulties. Uh, we don't have a dedicated one. It was always, yeah, it's great. We have a bunch from American Dad. We yeah. have one from Simpsons. The Simpsons. We, yeah, not, and then like the, the one, this one with like the, the Native American is right. like the one that is the most standard. Right, yeah. But yeah, we, it makes me think of Fallout, that one. Like, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. That, it's stereotypically like Fallout stuff, right? Yeah. There you go. But so crazy. Yeah, it's got a little, little girl with a clown doll. All right, well. How I'm apt. Gonna, she's she's going to be in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, clearly. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, uh, definitely the puppet. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Slightly Dutch. Oh, oh okay. Whoa, dude. Okay. Oh, weird. So Huggy's being sacrificed on a Looks like it, yeah. spike? That is... I guess that's where his head went. So he wasn't eaten so much as he was killed. Yeah. So maybe that was a headless Huggy in that first image. Ow. Hey. Is that, a, is that 1006? That's a lot of something stuck together. Oh, look at this. Oh, no! Oh, cool. Okay. That's the guess there. Oh, I need jump scare. Okay, so some sort of animal was breathing gas out. Right? Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Oh, chapter three, nice. Mm. Okay, here, we're gonna go back. Here we go. But we were going frame by frame, and now we're not going frame by frame. I like the, the very obvious YouTube play button that's in the background there. Oh, yeah, yeah. YouTube play button telling us to play. Uh -huh. Keep playing the video. Stop pausing it so much. So this is this, is this 1006? Because we know 1006 adds to himself right yeah. like at the end of chapter two mommy long legs is like no he's gonna add me to him but yeah. like she starts freaking out and so this this to me looks like an amalgamation of parts right. which is not at all what i expected him to look like at all when all you see is his like thin little spindly Absolutely. fingers because I, I can make out what looks like a huggy head on the top right there like a little yeah this is head. a huggy head yep. what's like a mommy long legs hand on the bottom left possibly uh, bottom left. further left further left further left that thing there this like thing. A hand oh yeah like a hand like pointing down uh-huh yeah and the, the sort of long stretchy tendrils all over it could well be just bits of mommy long legs rings. right no yeah. right like kind of flopped around everywhere yeah this looks like a like an upside down dancer doll or something like a yeah like a stretch arm strong like a pair of hands just sort of like that to be honest with you. oh yeah or like yeah. prayer hands i can see yeah. that uh-huh spring mm -hmm. definitely spring clary spring this looks like a punch glove yeah like if i think about like standard things that you find in a toy set yeah like a punch glove mm -hmm. here you have another like doll head and face crazy it's like a 
crazy erector set. Yeah. That could almost be a bit of a grab pack punch glove looking thing. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah, yeah. right with a with an attack arm at the yeah. bottom. I'm excited for a boss battle against this guy. Right? Like, yeah, that could be really interesting. That could be very interesting. So I'm assuming his head is either here or it's this tiny head up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be incredible if this like you have this giant mass of a body, right? And then you have this like little dinky doll head at the like, It's me. I'm Prototype One Zero Zero Six. <laughs> Just tiny in the middle. What's the sound though? So are these stage lights? They look like candles to me. Are they? Oh yeah, candles. like ritual candles. Yeah. Okay, yeah, a lot of religious imagery here. Like I'm worshiping. Yeah. This thing. Followers of the path. Us in. Garlands? Us in gar. Tied us in garlands. Oh, t- yeah, it looks like it. Tied us in garlands. Never forget the hour of joy. Joy. My somniferous flock. Somniferous would be what? My sleepy? Yeah. Because somni is sleep. Yeah, that would be sleepy. Sleeping. My sleepy flock. So he's built to wake up everyone? Or sedate everyone. One of the two, right? Yeah. He's, he's, he's either, a, hey, you are all asleep, or, yeah, I'm he, waking everyone I up. mean, this creature's emitting gas. Like knockout gas. Oh, you're th- so you're thinking it's coming, which I think you're right. So this is coming from the the gas mask guy yeah because because right there's two there's two people it could be right it could be one zero zero six the amalgamation right yeah. or it could be gas mask guy mm. so i think you're right if you're if it's deep sleep if the chapter title is deep sleep and you have a gas mask that's breathing out the poppy gas which yeah. we know from wizard of oz poppy gas makes you sleepy Absolutely, poppies yeah. give them poppies makes them go sleepy and so, yeah, so it seems like the scrawl on the wall here is coming from the gas mask guy. Yeah. Cool. My son never... So he's just like, I'm going to make all these kids sleepy so they could be turned into whatever, whatever. I'm just mentally writing down the word somniferous because it's good. I'm going to use that in a song at some point. Right? That's a great word. <laughs> a you, word. Don't, you don't see somniferous very often. Yeah. Uh, and then also here, I live to serve our angel of salvation. This is the gas mask guy saying, hey, I live to serve prototype 1006. Uh-huh. That's cool. So, so we know that he's the one scratching it. It also seems like he's the one with the three fingers in. He is. Also, can I just say, this very clearly reads of like, hey, this is so starkly different from anything else in this franchise. Right? Very clearly reads as, hey, we sold a movie. Because they did. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware. We've joked about this in episodes before. But like, they've sold the rights to a Poppy Playtime movie. This reads as like, we're going to make a movie at some it's point. Here's the trip. cinematic. Yeah, it's very cinematic in a way that this game has not been up to this point. Do you point. know what it reminds me of? If you've seen it, or the trailers for it, Skinamarink. Oh, I have, oh, I'm very familiar with Skinamarink. This reads, like, in terms of the way it's shot and mm-hmm. framed, uh, it feels like Skinamarink. I could see that. Yeah. Did you see Skinamarink? I did. I'm, I want to see it. I haven't oh. had a chance to see it yet. Oh, man. If you had more time here, I would force you to watch it with me. <laughs> I forced a couple team members to watch it with me. The breakdown was someone said it was an 8 out of 10. And someone said it was a zero out of ten. Okay, I love that. Yeah, love that. it was very divisive. Yeah. It's actually one of those great, like, like a Rorschach test of, like, what do you see here? Right, yeah. And you either love it or you hate it. I don't think I could handle Skibbity and Skinamarink in the same day. Yeah, Skibbity Toilet and Skinamarink. It's yeah. a double feature. There's a drive-in <laughs> down the street. Yeah, it's the next Barbenheimer, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Skip, skip, skibbity mink. Skibbity mink. What is the crossover? Yeah, Skibbity mink. Skibbity <laughs> I love that. Skip it. Skip him a toilet. Yeah, they are. Skip it. They just keep toilet. Yeah. Skip it over. Skip it a toilet. Oh man. Speaking of that, did you uh, saw Saw Patrol? I've seen that the Saw Patrol. That thing. Saw comes out and same. Paw Patrol comes out yeah. in the same day. So now it's Saw Patrol, which I I kind of love. That yeah, that is brilliant. Yeah, that's just too perfect names wise. It is. Yeah. It's like they planned it that way. Okay, so here's gas mask. Is that a gas mask that looks more like an animal face? Right? right? This is different. It's yeah. a different creature. That's some sort of bear or cat or something. It's right. got like a muzzle very clearly. And even the shape of the eye. Well, no, actually. Because it's the same eye like light. So I yeah. think it's supposed... There's like a black button nose in there, like an animal. Right. You can yeah. see the nostrils right there. Yeah. But it's different. Like, and again, the, the ring light in his eyes is the same. Hmm. But the overall shape of the eyes is different. Because this one is a little bit shallower and not as heavily, heavy of an oval. Yeah. And I agree. Like, this feels very... 
here as they kind of fade it out here. Right, that because that is not a gas mask, right? The right, other, no. the other one feels like it's coming out of a gas mask. This, I, I agree. Like this, this seems like the cat. Yeah, like those little creatures that we saw. Like it's mm -hmm. probably one of those jump scaring us. And I wouldn't be surprised if throughout the chapter we're exploring the schoolhouse. Then, yeah, this this play care schoolhouse, we're encountering these little creatures that are born out of the kids who once went here. Yeah. Maybe, a, like you called out, a variety of animals. Mm -hmm. uh, winter. All right. Thanks for being super vague about them. What? Love that. Winter. No. <laughs> winter. Get out of here. Think how much time you've got to theorize before that. So much. <laughs> so much time to think. Oh, hello. Oh, was that? Oh, that's, this oh. is the website. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think, I think so you're going into this daycare facility that's underneath. It was a training facility slash educational facility for the orphans that were being brought in. Certain ones are being gassed. Mm -hmm. by this the gas mask guy, at which point then they're being converted or changed over into the variety of animals that we saw and that we saw the, the kind of framing things. That's probably what those jump scares are. They're probably like things that we have to avoid. Yeah. The big bad is the gas mask guy at the end, and all of it is built to serve 1006. We caught a glimpse of. Yeah, that all seems cohesive to me. There we go. We solved it. We solved it. We don't even need to play the chapter. No. Did it. Yeah, don't even bother releasing it. We've done it. Right? We've it out. And you said they didn't tell you the lore. <laughs> Look at you. Okay. This was great. This was fun. Do you, want, do you want to take over the my job? Yeah, sure. Thank okay, you. great. So, well, welcome. Uh, well, you, welcome. You wow, um, you're, you're already welcoming the. <laughs> welcome to a new era. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's been great. I hand right. it over to you. Here's, here's your obligatory Diet Coke. Thank you. Someone, a, someone will see you. Sorry, it's in a Smithfields. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to take my leave. Do, do you know what the, the closing line is? No. Nah. Oh, Ash will help you through it. Okay, I'm done. Thanks. <laughs> This is good because I had to go to the bathroom anyway. Cool. Great. Have Bye. fun. See ya. Well, wasn't that a fun look at the <laughs> teaser trailer for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? Wow, didn't we all have fun? We had some theories, we had some jokes, we had some japes, we had a blast, didn't we? <laughs> Me and my assistant co-host Matt. I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, yeah, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that bit didn't last long. Uh, yeah, that was really interesting. Uh, it was fun. Uh, there's a lot to think about. I think we, I think we worked out some good stuff. We'll probably find out we're all very wrong, but that's how these things often go. Uh, thank you for watching. This uh, hasn't been a live stream, but it has been a video. A video for you. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra! 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 <laughs>